at all. He looked every guy in the face and said, we have to be smart offensively. What we're doing is leading. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hello and good day everyone, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine, my name is Sean David, thanks for tuning in, let's talk some NBA basketball. Now you guys, when you follow my show for quite some time, you know that I'm not a big fan of today's NBA, but trying to be a positive person, of course you gotta give credit to the players in today's NBA that deserve it, and in today's episode I want to talk about why I have the feeling that a lot of old school fans really appreciate and accept Nikola Jokic. But before we start, let me ask you guys for a small favor. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the content. All right, you guys, let's go for it. Now, I am recording this video in the 2024 playoffs. The Minnesota Timberwolves are playing against the Denver Nuggets and Denver is leading 3-2. And there are so many reasons why I have the feeling that Nikola Jokic is probably one of the greatest players the NBA has ever seen. And I want to give praise to a guy who I feel really deserves it. Now, if you follow today's uh, or uh, the playoffs currently, you see that Rudy Gobert, who's considered to be one of the greatest defenders of his era, is really having a hard time playing against Jokic. And it looks like he doesn't stand a chance. And why does it look like it? Because it is true. Nikola Jokic is so great with his fundamentals, his basketball IQ, and so many other reasons that he's simply unguardable. Now, the question that comes to mind for me is, would he be the same way if he would have played against David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing, Shaq and all of those great bigs and please hear me out I actually feel that he would be exactly on the same level the reason why simply because the the, the, the reason why he is good is not because of physical gifts it is actually basketball IQ understanding the game great footwork and other reasons and of course Rudy Gobert and all those bigs in today's NBA don't have the same physical um, qualities as the guys back in the day have but if you are a basketball player, you know that there's also always a way how to figure a way out if you are that kind of a player, if you are a smart basketball player. Now, let's go through the reasons why I think that Nikola Jokic is sensational. Now, the first thing that I mentioned earlier was the footwork. It is so nice to see that you have players in today's NBA who, hits, who still have great fundamentals and who actually know how to play the post. He has incredible moves. He knows how to feel his opponents. He knows exactly how, just like a Kevin McHale or Hakeem Olajuwon, maybe not exactly on the same level, but not too far away from it. He understands how to play the post position. And it's just beautiful to see how today's NBA players can't guard it. They just don't know how to handle it. It's just beautiful. Then obviously we know that his passing is incredible. And I always praise Larry Bird. For me, he's the greatest passer of all time when it comes to the bigger positions. And being a huge Larry Bird fan, I mean, you guys know he's my second favorite player of all time. But Nikola Jokic is on the same level. And look, as much as I dislike today's NBA of course, you got to give credit to the players who deserve it. And when you see some of the passes that Jokic is, is, is making, it's just beautiful basketball. Just beautiful. Actually, when, when I see some of the highlights or when I tune in into some games, I see some passes that I've never seen before. And it makes my heart go like, ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And um, the quality of having a big who can actually grab a rebound, have like one or two dribbles and make some passes, uh, I mean, that's what basketball should be about. Court vision, players with a high basketball IQ who find the open man and sometimes find the open man who doesn't himself even know that he's open. It's just in incredible. Um, the other thing that I also really like about him is, I mean, I complain a lot about bigs who shoot the three too often. And 
Look, I'm not the old head who says that a big can't shoot a three. If you are a solid shooter, of course you can shoot three-pointers, but the ratio, the balance has to be right. And with Nikola Jokic, I checked, he shoots like three three-pointers a game, and I'm totally fine with that. Three three-pointers per game is absolutely fine because he also mixes it up in the post and he has so many different ways to score and he's also more looking for scoring closer to the basket than the three-pointer but if he's open he takes a shot and he understands the perfect balance a thing that i don't want to talk about the other bigs but a lot of bigs don't understand that so nikola Jokic again incredible with that and I definitely know that there are many people who say that he's a terrible defender and here I also have to disagree and believe me I wouldn't say that if I wouldn't have done my research and actually watch and study what the guy is doing. Now the one thing that we have to admit is that he's not the physical, he's not a super athlete so he has issues when it comes to lateral movement and other things uh, like moving his feet quick enough so he's not great in that but it's never a lack of effort or that he, that he doesn't care it is simply his physical um, capabilities but he makes it up with different things that we cannot overlook first of all I think he's a very smart defender like he positions himself very well and he reads the defense when you take a look at some of his uh, and you really analyze it you can see see that he's really thinking and and uh, bringing himself in positions where he can help his team. He knows that he's not the fastest and he always makes it up with great positioning. He is incredible when it comes to um, stealing the ball, like deflecting balls. And, and um, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. He's so smart also on defense. He's not a great shot, shot blocker. That I have to say. Um, again, he, he can't jump. Um, and that's the only n knock that I can really... Um, yeah, criticize on his game. He's just not a great shot blocker, but everything else, I think he really makes it up on the defensive uh, defensive end with basketball IQ. And I actually found a video uh, of some dude who actually explained it in 15 minutes why he thinks that he is a good defender. And it was quite interesting to see because uh, he basically had the same points that I had, but he actually um, cut down a lot of highlights to actually prove it. That was very, very nice. Um, now, the video topic was why I feel that old school fans accept Nikola Jokic. And I think it is because you have, he actually plays an old school style of basketball in terms of really caring more about the basketball than the bling bling and all the stuff around the game. You actually see that basketball itself, the game itself is what he cares about. All the other stuff, he doesn't give it S H I T. And he gets his teammates involved he plays uh, bas basketball the right way um he's just a beautiful basketball player and when you hear some other legends talking about him you you can really see that they treat him differently than most um nba legends from back in the days talk about today's players i mean let's let's enjoy greatness watching this joker play i mean he ain't flashy he, just, he seems like a great person. I don't know him. I don't think I've ever met him in person before. But man, just appreciate greatness. Like we appreciated Steph yesterday and things like that. It's just, I just want to say, man, I, I love this kid watching him play basketball. Mean mugging. Mm -hmm. Lord, he know what he's doing. He letting the sleeping dog sleep. Let him sleep. The greatest trick that Jokic ever pulls on anybody is to think he not out there talking shit like a dog. Like, he not Kevin Garnett. He okay, not in man. people's face. But, like, don't say a word to him. Don't don't say one word to that man. Because he, he'll be ready to fight or talk shit, and he does it well. You can't guard him on the post because he's too big. He can't jump over a dollar bill. He <laughs> rebounds. He is amazing. He like if there is one per the one guy I would want to play with. I was gonna with say recently, if you got to play with someone like him, I would love to play with. Him. He's a problem. I mean, he's a problem. Like he he's like Jason Kidd as a point guard. Right. Like those guys don't have to score to affect the game. But he also scores. But he can score. So. <laughs> Magnificent. I'll just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? The player, the coach, only coach that make a system is Pop. Mm. You know, but the rest you got to build. A, you got to play around your strength as your best player, and that's what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the system is him. He's making everybody around him better. Yeah, yeah. And making their job easier. I was going to ask Hell you. Hell of a play. I was going to ask you. I've witnessed it personally. Is it the system, though, Boogie? Could you pick him up? Can you pick him up? I think he created the system. Mm. It's a di I don't think this was a system put around. I think he created that system. 
All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below what you think of Nikola Jokic. Is he acceptable to us? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.